Saw's Fortune now was one of 600 priests to get a communion ticket, so we helped distribute communion to the faithful. So I was able to bring communion in St. Peter's Square. So we were given a ticket and we were able to get into the square in about 15, 20 minutes uh, with the ticket. So we were able to go right through security. We went through the press gate. They had a, a gate for the press and a gate for the communion tickets. And so we came in and they put us in the Paul VI Hall, which holds about 5,000 people. And they put uh, all the priests and also they had ushers. They were seminarians from Rome. Uh, that were going to help with communion distribution. And uh, they all carried umbrellas. And so we all mustered in the Paul VI Hall. And we were there about uh, 6.30 or 7 in the morning. It was, it was a great honor to both John XXIII and J John Paul II really influenced my life. I remember reading a spiritual autobiography of John XXIII when I was in college. And he started to keep a journal when he was in high school and college. And he's a very spiritual man. And it really inspired me to think about the priesthood, to meditate upon it. And then, of course, for uh, most of my young adult life, all of my young adult life in high school, Pope John Paul II was my pope. And really, what a beautiful example of the priesthood. Uh, I'm definitely one of the John Paul II generation. He influenced me, made me think about the priesthood. And so to actually be here for his canonization was really a dream come true. He was uh, the Pope uh, when I was here in seminary. So in a sense, really full circle to be here for the day of his canonization. I was born in 1964. And for me, the Iron Curtain, the Berlin Wall were something that was a given. I just never thought I'd see it fall. And to see the role that he played, the church played in solidarity in Poland, and in 1989, to see the wall come down was one of the most amazing moments of my life. And to see how that was done prayerfully, with nonviolence, was, was a great example to me. Uh, also, the theology of the body, uh, which uh, George Weigel called the theological time bomb, uh, our, our society uh, takes such a low view of sexuality, and, and John Paul II has really shown us it's uh, sexuality is good, it's holy, it's something from God, and, and that we need to, to treat it with respect and, and love and care and see the holiness. So uh, those are some things that have impacted me in my life to, to see what John Paul II has done for our day and age and will continue to do going forward. Uh, but I just want to greet everyone back in the diocese, and it was an honor to represent the diocese here. I was on loan from the diocese these past three years, and what an honor to, to be at a special event for the history of the church as being at this canonization and the event they're calling a, the event of four popes. They have four popes in one place at one time. It was a, a beautiful day.